Hey Fingsters, today we will be learning how to sample a random number from a probability distribution in Python. Now we will be having a look at couple of ways to solve this question. But before we solve this question, let us have a look at what this question means. So to understand this question, let us have a look at this example wherein we have been given couple of lists which are numbers and distributions. So numbers consists of several numbers or three numbers to be exact which are 10, 20 and 30 and their relative weights are 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. Now what are relative weights or what are these values? These values are nothing but the probability of occurrence of each number in the given list numbers in the output list. So if you have a look at the expected output, then you'll find that you have to choose elements randomly from the given list numbers such that you have to display five elements in the output list. Now, if we have a look at the output, then you'll find that the number 30 occurs maximum number of times in the output list. And why so? The reason behind that is the relative weight of the number 30 in this list numbers is highest. That is, it has a relative weight of 50% or 0 0.5. Whereas the relative weights or the probability of occurrence of the other numbers in the output list is 0 0.3 or 30% and 0 0.2 or 20% respectively. Now, a point to be noted here is that the output can vary, but every time you execute your code, the probability of occurrence of 30 in the output list will always be highest based on its given relative weight. So I hope that this question is now clear. So now let us dive into the solutions to this question. Now the first way to solve this question is to use a method known as choices from the random module. So random is a module in Python that helps you to play around with random numbers and choices is a method of that module. Now this right here on the screen represents the syntax that we will be using to solve this question. Now let's try to understand this first. Choices is a method of the random module that returns a list containing randomly selected items from a specified sequence. Now this sequence can be a list, tuple, string or any other kind of sequence. So as you can see that this method choices right here has the first argument which is a sequence and this sequence will be the list that has been given to us. Then we have weights. Now this weights parameter is an optional parameter that represents a list wherein the possibility for each value can be weighed. In other words, this weights parameter allows you to specify the list which contains the relative weights or the probability distribution that determines the occurrence of the elements present in the actually given sequence. So that is what this weights parameter helps you to do. And finally, we have the parameter k. Now this is once again an optional parameter which represents an integer that determines the length of the return list. So let's try to further understand this syntax with the help of the example that we are going to solve. So let's say that we have been given this sequence or this list numbers. So we will simply be passing this list as a sequence within the choices method. Then we have to specify the weights parameter. So all we have to do is to pass this list distributions, which represents the relative weights of each number or each element in this given list numbers. And finally, we have K. And in this case, we want to select or we want to generate an output list which will consist of five elements. So that means the value of k in our case will be five because we want the length of the returned list to be five. Well, that pretty much explains the solution. 
all we have to do now is to go ahead and import the random module. Now we have the two lists, which are numbers that consists of the actual elements that will be displayed in the output list. And then we have their weights present within this list distributions. And now let's go ahead and use a print statement to generate the output. This we will be using our random.choices method. So let's simply go ahead and let's copy this. Okay. And within random.choices, the sequence is going to be numbers, which consists of the elements that will be repeated or that will be generated in the output list. Then we have weights. And in this case, weights is denoted by the list distributions. So let's pass distributions as the second parameter. And finally, we have K and that will be having the value five since we want five values in the output list. So that's it. Now all we have to do is to go ahead and execute this code and find out the output that we have. And there we go. As you can see that we have an output which consists of the number 30 present maximum number of times followed by 20. Now this output will vary in every execution. So let's once again go ahead and execute this. And there we go. Once again, we have a similar kind of output. Once again, we executed this and now we have a different output. Now let's execute this once again and then we have this output. Now the reason behind different output in each execution is that numbers are getting selected randomly. Now in order to visualize the frequency of occurrence of this number 30 in the output list for the maximum number of times, what we can do is we can go ahead and play around with the distributions. And let's say that the probability of occurrence of the number 30 is 70% while the probability of occurrence of 20 is 20% and the probability of occurrence of 10 is 10%. Now let's go ahead and execute this to find out the output. And there we go. As you can see that we have the number 30 repeated maximum number of times in the output list. Now let's execute this once again to cross check this. And there we go. Once again, 30 has been repeated maximum number of times in the output list. So this is how you can use the choices method of the random module to solve this question. Well, the next way to solve this question is to use the NumPy library. Now the NumPy library also has a module known as random, which has several methods to play around with random numbers present in arrays and lists. So the method that we will be using now is known as choice. And it is a method of the random module of the NumPy library. So this right here represents the syntax of the choice method of the random module of the NumPy library. So here you can see that we have to feed in three parameters to the choice method. So these parameters are number one, which represents the given sequence, which can be an array or a list. So in this case, this sequence is our list numbers. Then we have the parameter K and K represents an integer that determines the length of the returned list. So if we want that the output list will consist of five different numbers, then the value of K in this case will be five. And finally, P represents a list where the possibility for each value can be weighed. In simple words, it represents the probability distribution of each value from the given array. So let us go ahead and import the NumPy library. So let's import NumPy as NP. Okay, we have now successfully imported the NumPy library. Then we have the given sequence or the list numbers, and then we have their relative weights or their probability distributions within this list distributions. Now let's go ahead and let's use the numpy.random.choice method to solve this question. So there we go. And now let's pass the sequence, which is numbers. Then let's pass the integer value which represents the length of the returned list. And this is going to be five. So let's feed in five. 
And finally, we have to pass the list which contains the probability distributions and the name of that list is distributions. Well, that's it. And this should be NP since we are using the alias NP for our NumPy library. And now let's simply go ahead and print this as an output. So as simple as that, let's go ahead and execute this piece of code to find out if we have the correct solution or not. And there we go. But this is not the kind of output that we were expecting. But nevertheless, the numbers have been picked randomly. Hence, this is the output that has been generated. Let's rerun this code once again to find out the next output. And in this case, you can see that the number 30 occurs maximum number of times in the output list. And the reason behind that is the weight of the number 30 is maximum in this case. That's why it occurred maximum number of times in the output list. So this is how you can use the random.choice method from the NumPy library to solve this question. Now, before we wrap up, let us have a look at a similar question and let's solve it using the first method or the first approach that we learned in this lecture. So this is our question which says our friend Harry has eight colored crayons which are as follows. So this is the given sequence. Now Harry has the weighted preference for selecting each color as this list. So this right here represents the relative weights or the probability distribution of each color in the given sequence. Now he is only allowed to select three colors at once. So that means the output list should have three elements present within it or it should have three colors present which will be selected from this given list. And it is also given find the various combinations he can select in 10 attempts. So to solve this, let's first import the random module. Okay, we have now successfully imported the random module. Now let's say that we have a list colors which stores these colors that have been given to Harry. So let's copy these and let's paste it. Then we have been given the probability distributions. Let's say that they will be stored within the list weight. So let's simply go ahead and copy this and let's paste it here. Okay. So now we have the given colors and their weights. Now it has been given that he will make a total of 10 attempts. And to take care of this, we have to use a for loop. So let's use for i in range 10. Okay. So this ensures that he will have 10 attempts. Now we will be using the random.choices method and print the output which will consist of three colors in every iteration within the output list. So random dot and then we use the choices method and within this we will be passing the three parameters. So the first parameter is the given sequence itself which is colors. Now the next parameter is the probability distribution or the relative weights of each color that we want and that has been given within the list weight. So let's pass weight as the second parameter. And now finally, we have to pass the third parameter, which is K. And this is an integer which represents the number of elements that will be present in the output list. And in this case, it has been given that he is allowed to select only three colors. So K will be three and that's it. So let's go ahead and execute this code to find out the output. And there we go. Now, if you notice closely, then you'll find that the color orange is present maximum number of times in almost all the lists. So it can be safely said that orange is present in almost all the output lists or in almost all the lists in every iteration. And why so? So if you have a look at this probability distribution or at the relative weights of each color, then you'll find that the probability of occurrence of this color orange is maximum, which is 7 by 24. Hence, in the output lists, we have orange occurring maximum number of times in the list. So I hope that with the help of this example, things are clear. Now, please have a look at the blog 
and there you will find couple of more ways to solve questions like these. So please make sure that you have a look at the blog. Also at the end of the blog, you will find couple of exercises. I already explained the solution to one exercise. Now your task is to go ahead and solve the next exercise that has been given in the blog. The solution is also provided in the blog itself. But my suggestion is that go ahead and first try to solve it yourself. And if you face any problems, please mention them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer all your queries. With that, we come to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.